money provided by the Michigan Hanto Pronto University. The title is Comparison of Various Form of Serious Games, exploring the uh, potential use of serious game work through in education outside the classroom. In recent years, there has been a growing body of research on the gamification of education. Study use the element and aesthetic of game to motivate students to learn. Others claim the advantage of gamification that games are a familiar media for students and are more interesting than uh, writing media. In addition to this, really abundant evidence that video games has a more or less positive impact on the connect domain. For example, game can improve visual spatial resolution, reaction time, spatial awareness, probabilistic reasoning, and video short-term memory. Overall, game has been shown to lead education into a new realm. However, it's worth mentioning that games are a comparison media, especially com when compared to written media, which are still the most used in education. This means that the real of obtained are also comprehensive. If the importance of a particular attribute in the game need to be examined, the results can be made clearer by focusing the sample on the attribute of the game. In previous study, we have chosen narrative and immersion. In other words, we created a sample of series VR game with narrative content. The information provided in the subject interviews have attracted the attention of researchers. The non-VR group watch the game walkthrough more often than they play the game themselves. Game walkthrough is when player records their own gameplay and uh, the video content is often uploaded to the uh, video sharing site or stream live on streaming sites. There are millions of potential recipients for this content. Researchers conducted additional interviews with all group of subjects and found that 25 of subjects had watched the game book through. 74.16% watched at least seven hours per week and they were in the habit of watching them while eating. The reasons of watching game walkthrough will as follows. Watch game walkthrough allows them to expose to game anytime and anywhere. They don't have the hardware for a particular game, or the hardware doesn't mean the requirement of the game, so they can only get to know a game by watching it. They have some game walkthrough player who are particularly fond of. Watching the game walkthrough, they can find the hidden element of the game quickly or see the hidden ending without having to play the game for a long time by themselves. Family, the most common reason was that the video can be viewed at any time on phones. For this reason, it's clear that video media is certainly more accessible to their fragmented time compared to game media. From above sensory, we found that game walkthrough is convenient and accessible, so why not use it in the education field? The main theoretical idea of the study is based on self-determination theory. Through our survey, we found that most college student gamers are interested in game walkthrough. In addition, the data on the time spent watching game walkthrough suggests that they are not just a way to pass the time but that they enjoy them. Against the above background, this study investigates whether game walkthrough of serious games can have the same effect as serious games. Use game sample and questionnaire, this study will compare the information that subject remember from game walkthrough and actual gameplay. Analyze the strengths and weaknesses and examine the impact of VR format on the results. We created a VR game and a non-VR game and record the game walkthrough. And we divide the subject into four groups who play the non-VR game and VR group uh, who watch the game walkthrough of non-VR game group GW, who play the VR game group VR and who watch the game walkthrough of VR game group GWVR. A questionnaire will use to find out which group subject remember the game contents. The sample is based on actual event. For the 18% of 
text is taken directly from the news interviews. References as to the newspaper article about incident from 2006 to 2015. They were selected as a scenario of serious game because of their integrative nature and of narrative nature required of this study. The game is divided into four stages in total, each with two elements and two key items, and the player must collect key items while avoiding element pursuit. The key items in each stage are related to the storyline of the stage. Concerning the possibility of experimentation, research first concerned eliminates a live broadcast type of play. Next, according to interview with the subjects, most of game walkthroughs they watch are of the let's play type. And in let's play type, the player's comment and reaction will be more sympathetic to the audience than the other types. So in the let's play type game walkthroughs, the we, the subject can be able to relate it to the player more than in the other types. The researchers expect that the let's play type can reduce the lack of immersion, which is one of the problem of using game works. Therefore, the game works used in the project is of the let's play type. The game works will be recorded by a new gamer who will post videos, and they have never been exposed to sample information until the game walkthrough is recorded. Subject will be recruited through convenient sampling and snowball sampling. The original plan was for some subject to experience the VR face-to-face -face with researchers, but this was all changed to online for the corona. Subject will ask to download the samples themselves through a link provided by the researchers. Experience the sample on their respective device and mail in a questionnaire. The questionnaire is divided into four written questionnaires and one recorded questionnaire. The written questionnaire consists of basic information, recognition check, character check, and empathy check. Recognition check and correctness check use the same 10 questions. The purpose of a recognition check is to find out how much the subjects themselves think they know about the sample story. In the empathy check, the strength of empathy emotion for each subject is stick through a softball questionnaire. Questionnaire are showing in figure. The subject were 120 university students. When the subject self reported their gaming experiments, 71 said they had a lot of gaming experiments. 15 say they have no more gaming experience, and 34 say they had little gaming experience. Overall, the subject had a lot of gaming experience. Study shows showing that the more experienced a person is, that more competent they identify memories. This may explain the greater competence in self recognition of memory in group NVR and group GW. Although the subject in experiment have more gaming experience, in daily life, visual media is more accessible than gaming media and does not require more energy. In addition, uh, subjects spend less time in contact with game media than video media. Combining the data of group NVR and group GW and group VR, it was proved that the memory discrimination and experience of this taker are positively correlated. The data of group GWVR shows different characteristics from this. Researcher made an additional visit to the group on this issue. More than half of subjects who chose not sure said that they could not concentrate on the GWVR sample throughout. There are two main reasons for this. One, they are not used to VR game walkthrough from the beginning. Subject found it more destructive to watch a VR game walkthrough than a watch a regular game walkthrough. Two, at first they were able to enjoy the VR game walkthrough, but later in the video, they felt uncomfortable to the constant shaking of the camera. The same question is used for recognition check and the correctness check. There are five levels of correctness depends on the subject's answer. 
The score of each level is more than correct five point, correct four point, most correct, mostly correct three point, somehow correct two point, and incorrect one point. The total score is fifteen hundred. As figure shows, the total score of each group is group NVR one thousand one hundred fifteen three points. Group GW one thousand one hundred forty one points. Group VR one thousand two hundred forty eight point. Group GWVR one thousand sixteen sixteen points. Score are in order from highest to lowest. VR and VR GW GWVR taken together with a recognition check in the previous session. This indicates that group NVR and group GW are not only similar in their tendency to select for memory recognition, but also have a very similar level of the actual memory component. The score ranking for the subjective question again matches the overall score ranking VR, NVR, GW, GWVR. Higher score on subjective question require require more empathy from the subject. If the channel is one that simulates empathy, it may be better to have people play the game directly rather than delivery using a game workshop to achieve the goal. Therefore, if subjective feedback from the subject is needed, the VR sample can provide the most feedback among the four groups. Next is NVR games. In terms of ownership rate of VR devices, NVR may be a more suitable medium. On the other hand, Game Walkthrough did not provide comparable subjective re responses. In other words, if subject matter requires empathy, it may be better to have the audience uh, play the game directly rather than delivery it through a Game Walkthrough to achieve the goal. As showing in figure overall, group NVR tend to start high and end low. Group VR and group GW have very similar fluctuating trends, both starting high and ending low until stage three, but increasing in empathy until stage four. Group GW VR shows a steep decrease from stage one to stage two and a slower decrease in the other stages. The score of VR and VR do not change so much. For this, the score for GW and GW VR are more variable. With the exception of stage three, group VR is three days, the other three group in empathy, followed by group NVR, then group GW and group GWVR. This is the same ranking as for correctness check. The ranking of overall score for the emphasis survey, survey is VR and VR GW GWVR. The self-report of the four group in the recognition check was VR GW VR GWVR in order from highest to lowest. In the correctness check, the total score ranking for the of the four group was VR, NVR, GW, GWVR. The ranking for the embassy check was the same as the correctness check, VR, NVR, GW, GWVR. A number of studies have confirmed that embassy play a role in the construction of our memories. Coupled with the fact that it is an experimental result, it further proves that empathy is positively corrected with memory correctness. In other words, group VR, which ranked first in both the empathy and the correctness survey, and the VR series game with the storyline as a means by which recipients can remember the most information. Group VR sample narrative VR series game is also a good game for environments where VR conditions are not feasible or where VR device ownership rate is a consideration or slightly inferior to group VR. 
the group GW date was very close to group NVR. In all surveys and the selection trends were similar. If the CPM want to memorize multiple information, or if they value the convenience of game walkthroughs, GW is considered more suitable than NVR. However, group GW scored lower in question that requires subjective thinking if the receiver is required to think subjectively gw is less suitable finally gwvr which is also a game walk through sample does not perform well in particular compared to the similarity between group vr and group gw group gwvr and group vr have large differences in each survey According to additional interviews with subjects in this group, the major reason for this is that the shaky lens distracts the subject's attention and the subjects are not used to the walkthrough of VR game. Therefore, the walkthrough of VR game is not a suitable medium to make the receivers memorize the information. In the case of game media, it is known from previous study that empathy is positively correlated with memory correctness. Based on the above data, this rule is not completely true for game of two media. Although the group GW game of two can emphasize to some extent with a game of two player about their gaming experiences. They are limited compared to actual gameplay, especially when it comes to the questions they have to think about. Researchers believe that this is because the quality of empathy that the receiver feels differs from the empathy that is guided by the game walkthrough players. Game walkthrough often allows the receiver to explain the game by emphasizing with the median of the game walkthrough players. A game walkthrough, on the other hand, allows the viewer to empathize directly with the game's protagonist. In a game walkthrough, the player is constantly verbalizing their feeling as the uh, game progresses. Thus reduces the need for the GW viewer to perceive their feelings. Therefore, group GW is inferior to group GNVR in terms of the need to think the construct their own world, which has lost the empathic mediation. There are also limitations to this study. One is that the data read that well, the percentages of correct answer for GW group is not bad. It is slightly lower than NVR group. This is most likely due to the fact that as a video medium, game walkthroughs are still less reactive than game media. If the comments were used to increase the participation and interaction of the recipients, a higher percentage of correct answer might be obtained. At the same time, however, some of the comments undermine the convenience of the game books. As recipients who are eating have to put down their category and use both hands to control the game, therefore, the viewer of the game walk through are not able to emphasize in a positive way through the game walk through players. For the accuracy and precision of the game content is not guaranteed due to the lack of interactivity of the video media. In order to increase interactivity, the game walkthrough need to sacrifice convenience. There may be ways to increase interactivity while maintaining the convenience of the game walkthrough, such as voice input of comments. However, it is difficult to guarantee the interactivity and convenience of the game walkthrough 
in the current mainstream way. Second, the sample in this study is narrative oriented and has a weak gaming aspect in comparison. Different samples may yield different results. And subsequently, the sample that focuses more on gaming than narrative will be the next research topic. The results of this study indicate that serious game walkthrough is a viable educational option outside the classroom, especially given the prevalence and convenience. With the rapid development of technology, students' interests are constantly changing. According to self-determination theory, education can be constantly updated to eliminate student interest in learning. On the other hand, game walkthrough, a byproduct of educational gamification, gives students more option. Students will be able to experiments educational game in class and also learn outside the classroom by watching game walkthrough anytime anywhere thank you for your listening